There's another small matter I would like to correct. If we install the package that we just created, the Carly Grub Poly Lite, it will just dump everything. Now, this one is not needed. Well, a few of them are not needed. So let's clean it up. It stays on GitHub, but it will not go in the system of the user. That's general idea, right? Do not dump everything on there, just like that. Well, again, more solutions, more possibilities, right? If we don't want to go in into the reorganization of the files, but just keep as is, then we can still have a look at the the original GitHub from the developer from Grub Poly Lite and quickly do a compare. But our stuff indeed needs to go. So Git version 2, just a way to do something, to remove something. So you're here. Now I can start by removing everything that we don't need. Here is going to add the to the package directory, but there is also the source directory. Where did he write that variable? Control find the go away. Go away. Control find and then source. Oh never wrote it. Okay. So this thing I can say remove from the source directory remove let's see what should we remove let's see if that works so git git something right git 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 dash something that's how I name these things install as h can go as well actually it's not ours but it can go as well so now we can make copies come on source directory install as h we can call it like it is right like so as well License we keep, readme can be stay, set up our credentials, that one needs to go. And that one is set up our git credentials. This is wrong what I'm doing. I mean, do this F2, Ctrl A, Ctrl C, escape because you will make typos and then you look why why typos the start here abstract f2 control a c oops control v now we're not sure yet about the directory but just let's test this huh? okay the rest can stay so if we try to rebuild this thing, package builds, sure. this time it will be actually the same number, but we can still change some things later on. Let's first see if it works. There we go. So in there is going to the source and then the name okay so the poly light needs to be there as well so source directory fine and in between here is well actually poly light so just type it in voila poly lights Safe. No such directory. Let's have a look again. Cannot remove.
package. Why is it saying package? Source directory. And source directory is polylight. Oh, yeah. it's removed. Okay, let's start again. So, if if in doubt, delete everything, save everything, run everything. And then, ah, yeah. then he's gonna call something specific about install sh remove. I'm gonna remove the readme from the package file. Okay. No, the license can stay, why not? It's his work. We keep the license that we get from the people, simple. The dot git. Yeah. Don't think it's there, but okay. Save. We want to install the license. We want to know. So that's also a removal kind of thing, but it can stay there unless we do it exact the same reasoning. If there is indeed, let's have a look. If there is indeed a dot git, don't think it copies that. Does he? Don't think. Anyway, it's just a line extra. So remove. Like this then. Control C. dot git only light slash dot git yeah save let's try it again let's investigate so in the source you got polylight control h it's gone the dot git is gone background we keep license readme unifont and all the rest is gone Icons are nicely there, and I've made the icon a little bit darker. And in here, we'll have user, share, grub, themes, polylight. None of the things are there, nor are they here. And here we have licenses. That's the MIT license from Andrei Shevkov. Chef check. Voila. Better. Better. Definitely. Cleaner. But that's always later, right? You have all the time in the world until you say, okay, now it works. Now we clean up. And that's how I do it anyway. Detach, sign, Carly, drop. First, you need to figure out how does it work? How does it fiddle, right? Cut, A repo, new, repo, control V. Um, yeah, the number, the number is an issue. Pac-Man doesn't like that you repeat the numbers, that you overwrite the, the current config. So either, that's the easiest way. We go to Carly. It's, I think it's best we put this guy in here. I was gonna look there. So if we're gonna push it, the git, then there is a new reference. Clean up action. Let's see. Yeah, there is no push now, right? It stays the same name, although 
something changed. A small change there. So cool, we've got ourselves a new number. That's the thing, right? You need to have a new number. And if we run it again, this guy, this is R5. And if we're gonna make the package again, with each push to the internet, so with each change to the GitHub, it did not do it. It did not do it. We get again R5. Now, I'll show you something really stupid, but it will work. So you have this, read me, space, safe push to the internet space to prove a point <laughs> we got ourselves a new number let's do that again so back to the package build and then grub delete everything start from scratch make package r6 that's what i wanted to have gpg detach sign forgot to say what only grub that's it well, now we're happy. Now we can close off the day. Cut. Otherwise, it will hunt me in hunt, uh, hunt me, hunt me, hunt me in, during the night, and I can't sleep. That would be nice. Hound, hunt me. To hunt, and there is a hunt. Voila. Yes, it's not my navy native tongue but I do my best et voila that's a new wrap and uh, that's solved the way I like it all right cheers